when I was a student in, at the University of Vienna in Austria, one of the professors, upon recognizing that I am an Armenian, asked me if I had ever heard of Franz Werfel and whether I was familiar with his novel, 40 Days of Musadak. Having just come from Istanbul, Turkey, where there was no such access to Franz Werfel or his literature, I said, no, I don't know. He urged me to read the book. I read the two volumes twice, and I think that was a turning point. For the first time, I realized that I am a member of a terribly persecuted race who, who has been subjected to mass murder without any legal consequences for the perpetrator. This aroused in me a great sense of rebellion against injustice, and I began to feel even more identified with my nation, the Armenian people, uh, <clears throat> as an underdog, and I decided to relinquish my interest in science, mathematics, and uh, begin to explore history of the Armenian people, particularly the World War I episode of genocide. Uh, I was still not finally committed to this field until I read a second book by an Armenian priest who was educated in Germany and then he survived the genocide through the help of German officers. So he wrote his experiences of genocide in a book called Hai Kochkota, Armenian Golgotha. The, the horrendous details of this book <clears throat> almost drove me crazy. There are graphic descriptions of atrocities against the Armenians, and that was to me the turning point. I said, I'm committed now to pursue the study of genocide and particularly expose the crime as a crime against humanity. ago, the Turkish Historical Society organized a symposium in Ankara, and they invited me twi twice to participate, but I declined. I, I will never go there.